This is a V-Ray rendering with the V-Ray light and V-Ray textures. So let's bake textures. Go to rendering, render the texture, and have this object selected, and define path, and there is the box object, and here is output section. Make sure the file name is there, and it's a JPEG format, and give a name, and the type is V-Ray Complete Map, um, and the, the target slot should be diffuse color, and 512 by 512, good, and then render. When rendering is done, make sure to click Unwrapped only, and from automatic flatten UV, save the UVW map information, give a name, do the same for the other objects, render to texture, and then once it's render, make sure it's saved in JPEG, and unwrap only, and then as soon as you have you see automatic flatten UVs, save UVW file, and that's it. Do the same to the ground, and render to texture, unwrap, and uh, and then make sure to trade pack, and save UVW map file. Disable V-Ray light and change material to standard diffuse, non-V-Ray material. And assign the texture we just baked. And you can see it's wrong. Uh, uncheck, use real world scale and tiling one by one is still wrong. And for modified panel, remove automatic um, flatten UVs and add unread UVW and load the UVW file for that area and you will see the correct texture. And do the same for the rest of the objects in the scene. Now it looks good, and we need to change the renderer to from V-Ray to Scanline default renderer. You don't see a texture because you don't have any light. It's okay. Once you convert into VRML, you will see the textures. Now it's exported and you opened it in BS contact. Make sure you turn the headlight on so you see the textures. This is it.